guys um so today i'm going to be doing a massive beauty haul for you this may be the biggest beauty haul i've ever done um that is a big statement um i don't know but i have brought a lot of stuff recently um a lot makeup hair a bit of skincare brushes don't even ask there is so much it is ridiculous i'm literally going to just gonna pull like whatever's in front of me it's to me ages like gather this stuff i mean to do this for a few weeks but i just haven't had the time um so the first thing i'm going to show you is this and i bought this yesterday and this is real techniques nyx picks and i've wanted this for a while and in superdrug just to let you know at the moment these brushes are on buy one get one half price which i will show you that i bought something else in a second i'm just gonna pull this out so there's no reflection on it for you so these are the brushes that you get the first one here on this side is the duo fiber face brush it says lightweight application blending of face powder or pigments it's a really really soft duo fiber brush i used it for my powder this morning this one here is a cheek brush uh basically evenly applies makeup across cheekbone for a more dramatic finish i used this for contour in this one and it was a really really nice shape it's really dense it's just really nice a lot different than their blush brush completely different um that one's actually exclusive to the collection that one there the next one is also an exclusive and it's the angled shadow brush it says perfectly cut for layering eyeshadow in the crease i used that this morning as well that's really nice the next one is the base shadow brush uh, applies a smooth flawless foundation of color and this one at the end is also exclusive it's the eyeliner brush and it's just like a, an eyeliner brush but this is a really really nice set i really like it. and it's only 20 pound for all of these it's just lovely i really like that so because it was buy one get one half price i also got the stippling brush this is slightly dirty as i used it this morning um i used this for foundation this morning but i think what i will use it for is more like cream blushes and cream powders because i have a lot of foundation brushes i have loads um, of like dense foundation brushes but this will be really really nice to use for like cream products so yeah i'm going to use this for that but i really like this i feel like i've nearly got all the collection of brilliant these brushes now i was going to buy the um duo fiber collection but the Duo Fiber Face Brush is also the Duo Fiber Collection, so I was thinking, well, is there really any point in me buying, like, both? Um, because I just got the same brush twice, um, so I just got that one instead. I then have these, which is a really, really exciting purchase. These are a copy of the Sigma, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're basically the small ones of the brushes that they do. Um, and Sigma do these, they're really expensive. On eBay, there was a lot of dupes of brushes. There's a lot of dupes of Real Techniques ones, a lot of dupes of Sigma ones, loads. Some of them can be absolutely rubbish. You all know, or a lot of you know, when I was younger, I bought a dupe set of MAC brushes on eBay for about £20. The face ones were rubbish and the eye ones were amazing. I still use them to this day. I've probably had them for about six years and they are still going strong after being washed and washed and washed. And so many of you asked me, where did you get them from? I'm just like eBay. I don't really know which seller or whatever. I never kept it at the time these were 2.99 3.99 and they are basically a dupe of the ones that sigma do and so you've got like a, a rounded one you've got an angled rounded you've got a pointed one and you've got a flat angled and a flat like normal one so this is like the f80 dupe of the small one for example these are amazing literally amazing they blend concealer like no other literally this morning i don't think my under eye concealer has ever looked better than it did this morning blending with these was amazing i can't tell you enough you all need to go and get these right now it's essential they're really really good i will leave the link down below if i can't find the specific link i'll leave another one there's loads on ebay but these are amazing you need to go and get them especially for like two three ninety nine then i have some soap and glory bits um so makeup bits i literally have never really brought makeup from soap and glory before um even though there's quite a few things that people rave about so i went to soap and glory i thought i'll pick some of these things up um so the first thing was the brow archery or is it just called archery now um mine's in the color hot chocolate it's the two in one brow pencil basically so you've got the brush on the end and then you've got the pencil on the other end as you know my eyebrows are, are quite dark i have filled them in but if you go back to past videos i never used to fill my eyebrows in they are dark anyway so i never really feel the need to fill them in um but i thought you know i was getting a bit more into filling them in i thought you know you can kind of create a bit more of a better shape if you haven't had them done for a while um and that's what i was needing so i did go and buy this i wouldn't necessarily spend money on the anastasia one because i don't need much doing to my brows there's no point in me spending a lot of money um but this is really nice i like it the only problem for me is the color is a little bit off it's a little bit too brown rather than my eyebrows that head are literally black so they're a little bit too brown and a bit warm tone for me i prefer it was a little bit more cool tone but i do like it i like the applications this is really nice i then picked up the sexy mother pucker gloss stick 
And I have one of these in Plum Jam, I think it's called. I have that one, and this is Nudist. And I remember Fleur de Force always got on about this, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, I didn't like like the formula of the Plum Jam one before. And I tried it again, and I hadn't tried it in ages. I tried it again, I thought, oh, this is actually really nice. They also smell amazing. They smell really vanilla, really, like more vanilla -y than MAC lipsticks. And yeah, this is just a really nice colour. It's really natural on the lips. It just creates a really nice sheen. It's lovely. And then the last thing, which literally has changed my life. This is the Soap and Glow One Heck of a Blot Super Translucent Mattifying Powder. This is about £12. I think I mentioned it in my uni bag video. Um, but this is a translucent powder. It has a mirror. It's a nice compact. I used to use Stay Matte like a lot of people. Stay Matte for me. I love the powder. It's a great product. But the lid, the packaging, all of it, it just breaks and then the powder cracks and then it goes all over your bag. And even though it's 3 99 I was buying it so much because it was breaking so much. So there was literally no point in me buying it anymore. This has literally changed my life to have this and to always have it in my bag in a nice little compact. I just absolutely love it. Especially because it's translucent, um, which is what I look for in a powder. I just love it. It really, really, really mattifies. I probably need some on now, actually. But it really, really mattifies my skin. It just makes everything look amazing. And, yeah, I just love it. And it doesn't clog up my pores or make anything look horrible. And I just love it. If you're looking for, a, um, like, a mattifying powder, just go and buy this now. Just go. Save yourself the problem. I'm now going to show you something from a little bit of a different end of the spectrum. And this is the Hourglass Blush Palette. So it's the Ambient Blush Palette. This is what it looks like. So in my past two videos, I've shown you the Ambient um, Lighting Powder Palette and the Lighting Blush Palette. This I have definitely already got a lot more use out of than the powders. I love blushes. They're one of my favourite things and these are beautiful. Literally, they're like a highlighter and blush in one. They really brighten up your face, like, amazingly. It's got a really nice array of colours because you've got this coral one, you've got a pink one over here, and then you've got kind of this purpley kind of natural colour. I just love them all, they're amazing, I love the compact, it's just beautiful, and do you know what, I'm tempted to say this is actually worth the money, I really really like it, I think it looks really really pretty on the skin, and I would 100% recommend it, I really really would, I have used this so much. Then as we're on the subject of palettes, I thought I would show you this one, this is the NARS Virtual Domination Cheek Palette, now this might be even more beautiful, I love it. This is what it looks like. You've got Laguna over here, which my Laguna that I had in my little palette, I think you probably know, I've got a little palette that has Laguna Orgasm and Albatross in it. This one is so much nicer. My other one's kind of like, kind of skinned over almost and it doesn't pick up enough product. This is lovely to have it back in my life. This Laguna here is actually bigger than the one you get in a normal packet if you just buy Laguna. And you then have four blushes. So we have here, we have Deep Throat. We then have here, which is Miss Liberty. Um, you then have Sex Fantasy, which I think is this one. And then Final Cut, which is this one. These two are limited edition. And these two are definitely permanent. And I think this is also permanent, but it might be limited edition. This palette is literally like no other. I have used it so much already. And let's just talk about the packaging. It is beautiful. Like, literally, it's got kind of this like overriding kind of embossing on the top oh my god it's just amazing i did this so much that i actually pre-ordered it from space nk i've never done that before in my life but i just literally it's so nice it's probably it's the nicest one they've done definitely i've got the dan Mari palette but i didn't get the one last year um and 100 percent this is the best one they've done uh, i think it's 42 pound which really is not that much in comparison to what you get inside it's a really really good deal if you can get your hands on it 100 percent recommend it I think I lipstick from Kiko because I actually went to London a couple of weeks ago with my friend Martha uh, for my dad's shop opening. If you actually didn't know, my dad's got a shop in London. It's the Lambretta shop in Carnaby Street. Um, and if you ever go and see it, send me a picture on Twitter or whatever. If you live in London, go and give it a little look. Um, it's a really, really nice shop. It's just on Carnaby Street. It's kind of like the side towards the makeup store, like it's Liberty side of Carnaby Street rather than the other side. Uh, but yeah, if you ever get to go and look at it, go and have a look. But I was in there because he had like a, a band playing outside and stuff. So I went into Kiko and I thought I'd have a look. So this lipstick is the colour 614. And I don't actually know what type it is. It annoys me because they firstly don't have names and secondly they don't see the type on them. Uh, I think it's a velvet matte, I think it was. But it's kind of like this vampy colour. The only thing with this is it actually isn't matte. Like it's kind of like... 
it's not glossy but it's not matte it's just kind of a normal lipstick and it's not really the color i thought it was going to be like on the lips it comes off like quite purpley it's still nice but it's not quite what i thought it was going to be but the packaging let's just appreciate it it's absolutely beautiful with this kind of rose gold on it it's absolutely gorgeous i then have a couple of maybelline bits that i've got recently um the first thing is the color tattoo 24 hour eye studio leather effect in the color creamy beige now i don't know if these are out like countrywide yet uh, nationwide <laughs> um but this is so nice i've got it on my eyes today it's literally like a kind of like matte there's no like shimmer to it it's this kind of like taupey brown color it looks so boring you would think jesus christ who would even want to use this it's so nice literally blend it on the eye and blend it up into the crease a little bit creates a really nice shadow i've also then just been getting like a match matte shadow out of kind of naked basics or something just to kind of put in my crease but you can wear it complete without it's so nice literally another thing you need it video is so kind of making people buy things but this is amazing it's so nice and literally i don't think you pick it up like if you saw it on the shelf because it just doesn't look very nice but i really like it i then have the maybelline color drama instant velvet lip pencil in the color keep it classy now i thought this was gonna be more like a rosy kind of everyday color but it's not it's more of like a dark kind of pinky like bright berry color kind of color can i say color anymore uh, but literally i thought it was gonna be more of like a rosy everyday color but it's not I haven't worn this yet because i literally just haven't had a chance to um i found like the red one kind of bled on me the nude one was really nice so that's why i was trying to find like a color that was more natural but i will give this a go because i do think it'll be quite nice on the lips but i just haven't worn it yet the next thing I got is this, and this is the Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in Velvet Beige, which is the colour 630. Um, and this is a really, really nice nude. It's kind of like a kind of 90s nude. It's kind of one of those like brownie ones. It's really nice. I've got it on now. I really, really like this. It's just so nice. Me and my friend actually thought this was the same as Velvet Teddy, but swatched next to each other. They do look kind of similar, but this is obviously glossy and Velvet Teddy is matte. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. It's really nice. And obviously it's a lot cheaper than Velvet Teddy. So if you, you know, are wanting to get Velvet Teddy and don't want to spend the money or don't want a matte lipstick or just can't find it, I would definitely recommend getting this. I then have this, which is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in the colour 04. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, I've wanted to get this for a while and we were actually in Houston train station and I thought I'll just get it. Basically, I'm not that impressed. I think this colour is kind of orange, to be honest. Like, can't really... It's just really... Just look out how orange that is. Literally, they had four shades and the other three were like so... Like, just they weren't even going to show up on my skin. So, I got this one and literally, it's like so orange. I'm just not really impressed, to be honest. I like the fact that it's matte and I also like the formula. But I just don't really think it's as amazing as everyone says, to be honest. But, yeah, kind of disappointed with that. Especially because I've just got Laguna in that palette. So, I haven't really been using it either. And the last makeup bits I have to show you are some MAC bits. Now, I was feeling down a couple of weeks ago. So, I actually do you go and spend money. And um, I got, a, like, I made an order on MAC. Now, I never, ever, ever order on MAC, really. Um, and actually, the reason why I got it is because I was reading Viviana Does Makeup's blog. And she'd posted a post about this. Which is the MAC lipstick out of the Christmas collection in the colour Salon Rouge. It's a matte shade and it is so nice it's like this red but it's like i don't know i don't even know how to describe it. it's like red with this like kind of pink tinge going through it. it's just a really really different shade it's different to anything i've ever used before um it's really pretty it's got this glittery packaging on it it's so nice um but yeah this is out of the christmas collection so i wanted to get something and this is a really really nice shade um i haven't worn it much to be honest because i haven't really had a chance but i do really really like it i think it's lovely i then have velvet teddy because while i was on there i was obviously looking for well lip liner like everybody else in the blooming country and it wasn't on there i actually went into selfridges in manchester and said have you got it and she said they haven't even started making any more like how stupid is that obviously everyone wants it because of kylie jenner and they haven't even started making more like, it's the stupidest thing i've ever heard but i picked up velvet teddy um again it's a matte shade and it's just so nice like it's just so nice so that's velvet teddy and this one is velvet beta this one here is a lot more pink and this one's more brown as you can see and obviously this is glossy but it is it does give kind of the same effect you are kind of like a 90s nude um it's a nice shade so and they are kind of kind of similar um so i would definitely recommend picking this up if you do want a dupe of velvet teddy um but 
this is lovely i've been using it so much literally like all the time and it's just beautiful i love it it's so nice it's just a really, really nice shade it's quite flattering as well it just pulls everything together in a makeup look i feel like and it's just a bit nicer than just a normal regular nude like a bit nicer than using like patisserie for example from mac it's kind of has a bit more to it i then picked up mac pro Longwear foundation now i'm not really impressed with this to be honest i don't even know really why i bought it I picked like these three, three things up, I'll show you another thing in a second, and I just thought, oh, you know what, I'll try my foundation because I haven't tried one in ages, and I'm just not impressed with it. I actually thought I ordered Studio Fix Fluid, because I went on and I clicked Studio Fix Fluid, and I think I changed my mind and ordered this, because I've already tried Studio Fix Fluid in the past, so I thought I'll try Pro Longwear, especially because I do like my long-lasting foundations. I just don't really like it that much. It's an alright finish, it's okay, it doesn't last that long, like... In comparison to other foundations, this one that I've got at the moment is just my favourite. It's the more lasting finish foundation, 25 hour one, and it's just lovely with the red lid. It's just so nice. It lasts so long. I've been using this over my Dior, my Dior foundation that I brought, over this foundation that I've just brought, over all of the foundations I own because I just love it. This is just, it's okay, but it's not as amazing as, you know, as other foundations, and I just wouldn't recommend it to be honest. But it is okay, I will use it, but yeah, I got this in NC20. To be honest, don't really know why I brought it. Impulse buy. Um, and then, this is the last matte purchase. This is the Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder in the Pressed Formula. Now, no one talks about this, like, at all. It's got this really pretty packaging. It's like a little shimmers in it. You won't be able to see it from there. But it's basically a transparent powder. It's completely white. And I used to use this loads. I had the loose powder for ages. Then I got the pressed one. I literally used to use it all the time, like, probably, like, two years ago, maybe three and to set my makeup you see it all the time it literally created such a nice like a veil over the face that i just smoothed everything together now it was kind of like one of the first products i've tried of that kind of kind so obviously trying more and more there's a lot of products that do that now but i do love this it's really really nice and obviously the pressed formula is like a lot better and a lot less messy so i got that and i do absolutely love that i love having that back in my life then I'm just going to show you a couple of skincare things. Um, there are actually, there's two here from Kiko. So when I went into Kiko, when I mentioned about getting that lipstick, I also got the Purifying Mask. It's the Remineralizing Purifying Mask. Now, they do a really, really nice skincare range. I haven't tried any of the actual, like, stuff, like the regular stuff from skincare range, like a moisturiser or anything like that. But I did get this, and it's a really, really nice mask. It's lovely. It's a really nice purifying mask. It's a clay mask. It's just lovely. They're really nice sized, like, tubes. I just really like they're literally so cheap so they're about four pounds so i definitely recommend getting something like this and then they have some really really exciting products like i just really like them no one talks about this kind of stuff this is the kiko 3d lifting gommage it's an exfoliating renewing scrub i've also got the anti-aging renewing scrub from them as well this literally it's like it's a thick kind of paste really thick it's obviously like this bright purple color and it makes your face look really weird you kind of like massage it in and kind of like the beads come off and then you kind of leave it on and then you massage it again after you've left it on for a while and then you wash it off. It's really nice. It's really renewing. It's really refreshing. It makes your face look really, really fresh and like revitalized. I really like it. Again, it's like four or five pound. If you have a Kiko near you or if you fancy ordering line online, I'd really recommend like this kind of range and the masks and stuff. Now, the most exciting thing I have to show you is this. Now, this is the Kiko Purifying Fluid. Now, from the description, anti-impurity moisturising fluid, I thought this is Ephicar Duo in a dupe. I can tell you officially, this is a dupe of Ephicar Duo, and a very good one, in fact. I may do an entire video dedicated to the fact that it's a dupe of Ephicar Duo. It's exactly the same scent. It's exactly the same, like, comes out the same consistency. It's like this kind of murky, kind of um, clear colour. It feels the same on the skin, maybe a little less thick. As I said, smells pretty much similar, and it does the exact same thing. It stops spots from arising. It kind of probably doesn't do the scar thing as well as Epicard Duo does, but for a cheap dupe at like five pound, 100% give it a go. It says on the back, anti-impurity mo moisturising fluid, um, you have to cleanse it, apply it in the morning and evening to face and neck. It's exactly the same. This, I had to say, is a little bit more moisturising than Epicard Duo. With Epicard Duo, I do feel like I have put a moisturiser on afterwards. With this one, I don't necessarily. Seriously would recommend giving it a go. And it's nice packaging too, it's really pretty. I then went to Lush the other day and I got two things. I got the Hot Toddy Shower Gel. And this is a Christmas scent. It says, this Christmas spice deep red shower gel will warm your cockles and prepare you for winter fun. This is so nice, I can't even tell you. If you like spicy, kind of cinnamony type of scents, which I love. Oh my god, you'll love this. It's just so nice. It literally kind of smells like, like mauled wine and like it's just really 
like spicy and oh my god it's just it's amazing it's so nice it lathers so well i love it i was gonna buy snow fairy um and i said to the woman what other christmas stuff do you have that doesn't involve a bath because i wanted some lush christmas stuff but obviously i don't have a bath in it i only have a shower um so i had I, she was like well we only really have shower gels and i already had snow fairy in my hand and she made me try this smell this i was like oh my god i'm getting this so yeah absolutely love this it's so nice this is like the medium size out of the three and then I also picked up the big sea salt shampoo. I used to have this and it basically, it has like sea salt granules inside. I can't really, I'm not even going to open it because it's going to spill everywhere. But it has like granules of sea salt, like real thick granules. And when you massage it in your hair, it feels so weird. You're actually putting salt in your hair, like massive chunks of it. Uh, basically, it just gives your like hair loads of volume. It basically says, and it also it says it's really easy to comb, comb through and it makes it smell really nice. It's obviously a really nice and refreshing smell, but it does make it really easy to comb through. I really like this. It's nice. It's a really original product as well. You're not going to get anything similar to this anywhere else. It's kind of got sea salt in it for God's sake. It's really nice. And now we're on to a home run. I've only got a couple more things to show you. Now the next thing I have to just show you, it was dripped all over me and I've just had to go and like wash everything. But these are the Shine Booster Shampoo and Conditioner by Charles Worthington. I'm going to try and show you slightly without it dripping everywhere. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is the conditioner. The shampoo is this kind of bright orange colour. Sorry holding them so weird but literally they're going to drip everywhere. These are so nice. They're really, really nice. They smell nice. They're just a really nice shampoo conditioner. I've never really tried Charles Worthington before, so I thought I'd give it a go. But next thing I'm going to show you in a second, I've been using that more than this. Um, but before that, I also have been using this. And this is the Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce Instant Amplifying Volume Treatment. This is really weird. It's kind of like a thick kind of jelly. And you put it on between shampoo and conditioner, you smooth it all the way over your hair from right at the roots all the way down to the ends. You smooth it all over and then you give it a massage into everywhere for about 30 seconds and then you wash it off. Can't really say it's given me like loads and loads of volume, like I, you know, whatever. It does make it feel nice, it does make you feel like you have got a bit more body in it. Um, not dramatically so, but it does make you feel like you've got a bit of body in it. The only thing I would say, it smells of wet dogs. Like it stinks. Oh, it's just horrible. The smell. Oh, I can't even stand it. Like I'm in the shower and I'm like putting it on. I'm like, oh, this is disgusting. And obviously, because you put conditioner on afterwards, your hair doesn't necessarily smell like that. And I put like a leave-in conditioner on afterwards when I get out of the shower and some volumizing stuff, so it doesn't end up smelling like that product. But it stinks. So before you buy it, smell it because it stinks. Um, but it is all right, and it's a quite a good product to use. The shampoo conditioner also nice as well they give you a bit of shine but these ones here these are i've got them in here just in case they drip um these are the mane and tail and body shampoo and conditioner basically these were made for horses they've got the conditioner in here too these are made for horses to use on horses hair people then realized these were actually really really good for human hair and made them all shiny i haven't used them today on my hair but literally they make it so shiny so manageable just lovely and apparently it's supposed to make your hair grow really really well right this may be seeming a bit ridiculous i got these on tuesday last week it's now sunday i feel like my hair's grown now this might just be me like thinking about it and just trying to think too much into it but literally i feel like my hair has grown and might be a bit ridiculous but that's how i'm saying it these don't really have a smell they just kind of smell normal they don't have a bad smell um but yeah these are what they look like and on amazon i got these for both for seven pound and they're normally seven pounds each um here we've got a bigger conditioner here than the shampoo which just kind of makes sense because i use so much more conditioner than the shampoo um but i will link this down below because this is a really really nice set and it has really made a difference to my hair i really like them so that is everything I have to show you. Now, I'm thinking this video was about half an hour long. Like, I'm not even joking. So, I'm really sorry for it being so long. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing the bits that I've brought. It took me ages to film because I've had people interrupting it. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I really, really hope you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. The button is just down below. And look at my previous videos because I've just been putting a lot of effort into YouTube recently. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.